How's it going YouTube's Undang Art bringing you another figure review and today's figure review we have the SH Figure Arts Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett and Throne. So as you can see Boba Fett is nowhere to be seen. We're going to take a look at the throne first as that's kind of like the, I guess the big selling point for this figure. So it's got some nice like rusting weathering to it. It's very light and it definitely feels very plasticky. It's quite shiny so I might have to hit it with a matte varnish but it's got all the details like the cracks and stuff. And then at the back even has some detail even though you probably never see it. It says Lucasfilm. Same thing on that side and then some nice like uh, pressure marks. I can't think of the word dense for where Boba sits on it. It looks pretty good and you can see some wrinkles there as well. Um, not really much else to say. I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely better than my 3D printed one but that's because I didn't get a high quality one. I deliberately bought a not second hand one but a misprint so yeah. And then here is the Daimyo himself um, or I don't know what else you want to call him, if you want to just ignore the fact that the show exists, I don't blame you. So let's take a closer look at Boba Fett, and then we'll take a look at some comparisons between the first version, uh, so you can see the differences. So here's the new helmet, so to speak. I don't actually think it's new, I think it's just new weathering. And same with the chest, although it does look... I think it is different, I can't tell. It's going to be difficult trying to tell. But the legs are definitely different all the way down. And then the skirt is different because on the first version, even though mine doesn't have it because I removed it, it's supposed to be a full skirt piece that goes all the way around. But on this version, it just goes at the back like a camera. And the nice weathering to the gauntlets. I do think they've remodeled the arms. He looks skinnier, which would make more sense because Tem lost a lot of weight for the Boba Fett TV show. And then nice pitting again. There you go. And then a really cool new looking jetpack. Love the design of this like remodeled jetpack. And it still has the swivel. Well, I can't think of the word. Thrusters. And then cool looking belt underneath not much going on now the skirt's gonna be annoying isn't it yep but yeah um fairly cool now I'll quickly get the first version out so you can see the differences but bear in mind mine has been repainted to be a more accurate green so here is the first version as you can see the pants are definitely different Sorry, I didn't realise I was too far, too close, I mean. There you go, now you can see the legs. So you can see the legs are different, the boots are different, because he actually has boots this time and not shoes. Um, the knee pads are in a different position, they're in like the more normal position, because for some reason on this version, they're below the knee, which is a really weird decision. The belt is entirely different. The arms, let's see if they are leaner, like I thought they were. Um, no, they're not. It's the gauntlets that are slightly smaller. So they've made the gauntlets smaller to give the appearance of his arms looking smaller, which actually works, weirdly. The hands are exactly the same. The holster is different as well. Let's see if I can get my arm around this side. The holster is different, different shape and everything. Oh, sorry, range finder is terrible. Different shape and everything, and the helmets. Um. No, no, it's a different helmet. Yes, it's slightly thinner visor on this compared to this version. So yeah, they've actually done quite a lot. It's not just a straight repaint like 
some people complaining when the figure got announced, not announced, sorry, released. The one thing that's annoying is again the plastic skirt, uh, scarf. As you can see, I replaced mine with cloth because that drives me mental. And I forgot to show the jetpack differences. Very cool. Now let's see what he looks like standing, sitting in the throne, sorry. He's got to look good because that's the whole point in getting this figure. Ah. I've noticed an issue with this figure. The hoses are way too tight. You can't bend the arm. As you can see here, you put pressure on it. Maybe if you move out of the way, now that's going to pull out. That sucks, because for some reason on this version, they had it loose enough so it's completely fine. But you get the arm up easily. But on this version, Hmm. Can I rotate the arm? Oh, that sucks. Wow, that's... Well, now he's going to look really weird. <laughs> right, let's try and get him sat in the throne. I know he's supposed to have his jetpack off, but I can't be asked to do that when I'm currently doing this. Well, it looks good in the frame, so I can't complain there. So now let's take a look at the accessories. And firstly, like I said, his jetpack does come off. So I'll show you how that looks. So you remove his entire back plate, which comes off with the jetpack. So it looks like that. You then remove the jetpack. And when you get the figure, it comes with the jetpack off as it is. Wow, that's very stiff. So there's the back plate. And then you get these little bits that I'm really scared to lose. Line them up with the right pegs. Are they identical? I don't think they are. I oh, know these bits are. Well, that's a bit easier then. So there are the silver bits, and then it leaves the pegs, so you can peg it back on. And then there he is without his jetpack. Although apart from when he's sitting down on his throne, I don't know why he'd ever want to take off his jetpack. But there it is with his jetpack off. So as you can see, it comes with two fisted hands, two open palm, relaxed, expressive hands, which have dropped on the floor. Two gripping the rifle hands. Keep messing up where the camera is. The new accessory is two gripping hands for his um, staff, which I can't remember what the word is, is called, his caffy stick, gaffy stick, and then trigger finger hands for the rifle. Flying, ooh. Flying effects for the jetpack. A rocket effect for the jetpack. And then a different missile head goes on top, or you can have it go in the top of this. But I don't remember him having this rocket head, so I'm not sure why this is included. And I will not be watching that show again just to see. As you can see, you can peg that version in as well if you wanted to, and just show you what that looks like. And peg the new one into here and peg the new one into there and there it is firing which again I don't remember him doing in the show but maybe he did use the rocket
pistol. Same design as that, but um, sorry, reuse of the first version. I do like the design of this pistol. I think it's very unique looking. Then the rifle, which looks to be a complete repaint. Yeah, it's a reuse. E33 blaster. And the gaffy stick. From the Tuscan Raiders. Which I will not comment on. And then he also comes with an unmasked head and neck. And then a spare head as well. So here is the unmasked head sculpt. It's definitely a better likeness than the first version is. But the eyes are... How do I word it? Cloudy? I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, It looks good. It looks better than the first version, which I'll show you now. But the eyes look a bit glazed over. Like, yeah, as if he's a little bit blind. There's the first version. Obviously the scarring is gone because he's fully healed, but the likeness is better on this one, I think. And then here is his angry sculpt, which I think it looks all right. Uh, I don't like it too much to be honest and probably never ever use it because he will always be helmeted but not bad but I do want to see what it looks like with the custom head sculpt by Fet Clone obviously the flesh tones will not match up but yeah that's Boba I do like the scarring more than the clean look just because I think it gives him a bit more character. That's bloody fantastic. Fet clone. You're a bloody genius. <laughs> now onto size comparisons. Here he is with the official, no sorry, the first version, the SH Figure Arts Season 2 Mandalorian Boba Fett and the Black Series Fennec Shand, um, which I swear to God, a helmet looks way too big. But again, they have a good height to each other. It looks like the new Boba is slightly taller, or maybe his legs drop down, and I've accidentally done that. No, he doesn't have a drop down hinge, so he is just slightly taller than the first version. I also take back what I said earlier, I think the only thing that's been reused is the arms here, because this torso is way bulkier. Um, as you can see there, like the depth compared to that and even the sculpting is different so yeah um whoever says this is just a retool it really isn't it's an entirely new figure now standing next to Din Djarin here he is with the SH Figure Arts Season 2 Mandalorian and the Mafex Mandalorian Season 1 with a Red 5 Customs jetpack but you can't really see that so don't really need to mention it he's taller than Dinjarin, which that feels inaccurate. I think this ver first version being. Oh, wait, no, the first version is smaller, uh, taller. Wow, I don't think I've ever compared these two together before. So I think he is supposed to be smaller than Mando, so I think this works better than this. But it's your preference. And lastly, for size comparisons, here he is with technically the SH Figure Arts. Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, but repainted to be my mascot Punisher Vassalair and my mascot Punisher Marvel Legends. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Overall, a really cool release. I'm so glad I pre-ordered it and ignored basically everyone who said it's just going to be 
a reused body. Um, well, not everyone, sorry. Some people saying it's going to be just a reuse with new boots and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, enjoy the photos at the end, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.